This is Matthew Cratter from Trader University, and today I want to talk about the huge stock market rally that I think is coming and is already here. If you're interested in learning how to make money in both bull and bear markets, or you just want to see what I'm trading or investing in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So if you look at the headlines, it would still appear that the Republicans and Democrats are pretty far apart in terms of a new COVID uh, stimulus package. But if you dig in a little bit deeper to what the insiders are doing, and I, I always recommend that people follow Harold Malmgren on Twitter. He's a, a real Washington, D.C. insider, and he's usually ahead of the game in terms of his predi predictions. What he's just alerted us to is, is that donors on both sides, and again, this is referring to Democrats and Republicans, were told by politicians, these are donors who are donating you know, tens of millions of dollars, they were told... Uh, from October 1st to buy call options on the stock market. And this showed that uh, the insiders were pretty confident that a deal is going to be reached on fiscal stimulus even before the election. Now, we're really seeing that as well in the price action. By the way, I should say that this is just, this is absolutely disgusting the way this works, but unfortunately, it's a system that we work in. And again, I want to emphasize this is a bipartisan problem. This wasn't just Republicans or just uh, just Democrats. Now, in terms of the price action, we're lucky that we can also follow price action. The price action has been very good on the risk asset markets. And I like to look at Bitcoin. I think it seems to lead the stock market a little bit. It's a little bit like a canary in the coal mine, especially in terms of sniffing out liquidity. And what we saw with Bitcoin is that it put in a bottoming formation uh, at the beginning of September, maybe the first week of September, around September 7th or 8th. And then it made a higher low around September 23rd. So you have a low, a higher low. We've just made a higher low, and now we're breaking out. What makes this interesting is that the S&P 500 is a little bit of a lagging uh, indicator to this, where uh, the S&P 500 sort of bottomed around the September 24th period when we saw Bitcoin making that second, uh, second higher low. And so everything is really geared for liftoff. We've got the S&P 500 back above the blue line, which is the 50-day moving average, blue line above the red line, red line is the 200-day moving average. This is very bullish price formation. It's combined with a lot of bearishness. We can see that the whole VIX term structure is trading very far above where the current VIX is, even a current VIX of 25. This to me still seems to be pricing in some chance of a constitutional crisis. And uh, I think that whether that happens or not, I don't think it's going to happen. But I think that the, the fiscal stimulus and the Fed money printing really outweigh any sort of partisan bickering. And this is what uh, asset prices are telling us. The QQQs are looking just as bullish as the S&P, perhaps more bullish. Again, that same formation trading above the 50-day moving average. And what's interesting now is this, the small caps, the Russell 2000, is breaking out to new um, close to uh, where it was trading before COVID. So this is looking extremely strong, as well as other liquidity indicators. If you want to think of gold and silver's liquidity indicators, they're looking a little, a little uh, weaker than Bitcoin, but they've still put in very nice bottoms. Gold doing a similar formation where it's doing a low and then a higher low. It's going to test the 50-day moving average pretty soon. Silver, which is sort of a really high beta version of gold, uh, has made a really nice recovery as well. And so I think this shows you that the system is saying that there is going to be more li liquidity injected into the financial system. Also, if you look at a lot of sort of economically sensitive ETFs, XRT would be the retail ETF. That's breaking to new highs for the, uh, for the last few months. Actually, it's breaking to new annual highs, which is pretty unbelievable. XLB, which is a basic material, sort of more of a commodity index or commodity company index that is testing new all-time highs for the year. XLI is the industrial ETF. Again, these when you see XL, those are all uh, uh, sectors of the S&P 500 that have been broken out into ETF. So it's very helpful for tracking different uh, industries or sectors. XLI, as I said, is the industrials. This looking really well, breaking out to new uh, post-March highs uh, this 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 past week, and then finally XTN, which is the transportation index, 
also very bullish chart. Again, for all of these, we've had the, the bullish moving average crossover and now trading above the X, uh, the 50 day moving average. The only two, uh, the only two sectors I would say that are looking weak are still looking weak are energy uh, driven by crude oil and, and natural gas prices, obviously. And then, so that's XLE, XLF is the financials, finally perking above, uh, poking above the 200 day moving average, but not um, definitely looking weaker than everything else. And this may just be a sort of, sort of uh, secular declines in both of these industries. The banks, the financial companies being eaten alive by FinTech, by the rise of DeFi, by the rise of Bitcoin, and XLE being superseded, oil and gas companies uh, being superseded by new clean energy technologies, especially on the uh, the idea that if Biden wins, and he's definitely ahead in the polls, I don't really have a horse in that race, but if he wins, that there will be uh, a lot more government money spent on solar and wind and less favor shown to oil companies. So there may be sort of political things there. Uh, but I think we're looking extremely, extremely bullish. The uh, Bitcoin has really been functioning as a levered version of the S&P 500. I like it for all the other reasons that I'm t I've talked about in my other videos. It's extremely scarce. But let's review a couple of stocks that should continue to do well in this environment. Uh, TTD is one that we talked about last week. Uh, just keeps hitting new highs ever since, um, even since we since we talked about it. That's uh, the Trade Desk TTD. Roku is another name we talked about last Monday. Gapped up nicely on Thursday. Twilio is another name I really like. Just a great looking chart. These are the strong stock stocks in a strong market, and they're even much stronger than the uh, the Amazons and the Apples of the world, which we're seeing a little bit of a sector rotation into some of these. Uh, some of these other names, obviously Amazon, Microsoft, uh, still holding, looking quite bullish, and they're a large percentage of the market cap of the S&P 500. So it makes sense if we see SPY rally, that these would be rallying. But we're also seeing this rotation into sort of smaller, uh, from the really mega caps to still large cap companies. But um, so Roku, Twilio, Trade Desk, and uh, some other software companies, uh, ServiceNow. A great looking chart. We've been talking about this for a very long time. And even when the market pulls back, it's it's difficult to get this stock below the 50 day moving average. It really looks to me like it's been under a lot of institutional uh, accumulation and institutions tend to buy on dips because they're doing very large size. So NOW would be another one. Square is one we've been talking about. Obviously, they now have a Bitcoin position, although it's small, but uh, they should do well as Bitcoin does well just like MicroStrategy, uh, MSTR, I think it is, yeah. Uh, MicroStrategy should also do really well. They basically converted their company into a Bitcoin ETF by buying $400, $500 million worth of Bitcoin, even though they're sort of a slowing company from a software growth perspective, from revenue revenue perspective, they've transformed their company into a Bitcoin ETF. So that's another interesting company to watch. And then finally, SW, SWKS, uh, Skywork Solution, a semiconductor company looking really strong uh, with a lot of the semis, uh, NVIDIA, SMH, uh, SMH breaking to new highs here. If you enjoyed uh, this video and you want to get more momentum names, you should check out my list of my favorite momentum stocks. This is the list that I keep on my desk of stocks that I'm trading or investing in. And you can get full access to this as a trader university premium subscriber. You can also get full access to my momentum trading courses, uh, especially in particular the momentum stock secrets. This is a very advanced course uh, that will teach you a lot of indicators you probably never even heard of and how to how to really profit from this momentum stock list. And if you're more of a beginner, I would suggest you take learn to trade stocks like a pro, which will really take you from A to Z, uh, everything teaching you everything, all the terminology, everything you need to know to learn how to make money trading stocks. Check out as well my uh, day trading course, Learn to Day Trade. I have a course on trading options and a course on IPOs as well. All in all, there are 13 courses here. And the good news is you don't really have to choose between them because when you join, you get access to all 13 courses for 30 days. So if this interests you, click on the link in the description notes below. It'll take you to this page and you can click on any of these boxes 
and get the full list of lectures and see what's taught. I also have a course on swing trading with options, which is very popular, as well as my futures course. So you can dig in here a little bit deeper, also a real estate course. If this is something that interests you, you can scroll all the way to the bottom, click get it now right here, and that will take you to the checkout page. Now normally access for 30 days is just $125, get access to all 13 courses, but I'm currently running a special. If you scroll down here and click have a coupon code, this is for my YouTube viewers only, and you type in YT, capital YT as in YouTube, 99. Click update and that will take $26 off the price. You get access to all 13 courses, and we're talking very, very in-depth courses. And you can watch them all, cancel before 30 days is up, and um, you can get all this for just $99. If uh, you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Hit that, that notification bell if you wanna be notified when I publish a new video on YouTube. Hope you're all staying well, and I'll see you in the next video.